It's in the top 10. Let's take a look back at the men's race from round one and a couple of upsets there. The ski paddlers led early, but late. It was the Ironman who got up. Benny Carberry, big, bad, bumbling Ben Carberry got there ahead of Corey Taylor and Mitchell Trim, Jet Kenny and Jeremy Collins had to settle for the minors. Let's see if they can turn the tables on the Ironman here at Coolum. Skill will come into play, but speed is all important off the start and you got to pray that you get a nice wave on the way home. Jack, what is the key after watching those women's races? Well, ensuring that you stay upright. We've spoken about it before, but you do not want to be swimming in a ski race. Swimming is far slower than ski paddling. So stay upright, keep yourself on the ski, and make sure you carry momentum into these large waves. If it's too big, making the right decision, whether you roll underneath, to get yourself back on and go again. I don't know if many of these ski paddlers can swim. I know they've got to do it every year for a proficiency, but I know they don't look forward to it, that's for sure. James Porter, Jason Pryor, Jet Kenny from Alexandra Headland, Lincoln Wade from Mermaid Beach, and Jared Wiseman, his club mate alongside. 20 men enter Cam Cole there from Alexandra Headland as well. Nicholas Gale, former medalist at the Australian Championship. They are all here, they're all on the line. They are in and away. No no dramas from the start. Not the best start at all from a couple of the Currawa boys in the middle. A little bit slow. And these men, they're the ones that are absolutely flying. James Porter, he's been a star of the Ocean 6 Series in the last couple of years. But he hasn't been able to crack a win this year. Will today be his day? Well, he hasn't been able to keep his ski straight this year, Josh. And that's proved a massive point for James Porter. And probably put him outside the results where he should be. Benny Carberry, last year's winner, crashing up and over those ones and it looks like the left hand side has got the best of it the northern end on this race is out and it's sam norton from bernie who's leading the way ahead of his fellow statement matt bevilacqua the tasmanians they're loving it bernie such a strong ski paddling club you always see them in the ski relay final the double ski final the mixed double as well and of course the individual and the nortons they do a very very good job and sam's showing why out in front at the moment he'll be used to a little bit of wild conditions down there oh one's rolled off at the back i don't know who that was but he is off and well that's not what you want to what you want to see at the moment bevilacqua another one of the tasmanians oh getting caught up in there can't even get his paddle in. You've got to force it, Bevilacqua, if it can't get in the water. And up on the inside, maybe five, six, seven guys have almost gone past him just like that. Ben Carberry, I think he's turning into a ski paddler. More noted for a swimmer, Ironman, but his ski performance in the last couple of weeks has been incredible. And that's him on the blue and white with the skins on in second place. Well, he's an extremely strong and powerful individual, Josh, lining up for the Burley Bears. He's taken a liking to rugby as well so this kid can do it all and he's a big burly fellow as Matt Belvillac where he's stuck in the middle of the pack now trying to work his way back through this race he's sitting in about fifth or sixth place at this stage and while the rest of the field is fighting each other around the cans our leader is going away from it Jamo Porter looking around oh a little apology there and having a laugh they know they're not helping each other but our leader's down a wave Sam Norton's no drama Bevilac was down a wave but he might be out of it as well Got plenty of work to do. No, he's on the right-hand side. He's in the race for second place. He's picked up that wave there, but we'll have to see whether they can hold on. They put the power down. Oh, it's all white water. Oh, and it's all toes there. I think J-Mo Porter is off. Sam Norton's not. He is absolutely flying and put on a masterclass. Ben Carberry got the win in round one. You'd never bet on him to get two podiums in a row, but he's going to do it. The Tasmanian. Bernie will be celebrating tonight. This is their first win in an individual event in the summer of surf and the ocean six series ben carberry will get second the race for thirds on but the man from tasmania on top he celebrates carberry in second the race on and bevilacqua gets third so tasmanians in one and three it's an absolute upset here and the men from down south they've headed north and they've finished on top well, James Porter ski doing a few cartwheels, Josh. That's the sixth race in a row that he has slewed, so making some huge wow. mistakes. James Porter, call him James Slaughter because he is making massive mistakes and it's costing him some serious points. As his coach, Jack, I think you need to take a look at the man in the mirror. James Porter will be back, no doubt about that. He's one of the best in the business. He's a fly in and fly out paddler all the way from uh, down south there of Bernie in Tasmania. Sam Norton, awesome effort. 
Uh, thank you. Um, yeah, it was a, a very enjoyable race and um, yeah, great conditions here at Coolum. Let's talk about conditions, um, Sam. Do you get these sort of conditions down in Tasmania? Uh, we, uh, we get a lot of chop like this. So uh, where we train, or where we grew up training in Burnie, we get a lot of wind chop. Uh, so I think we're quite good in swells. Uh, we don't get the big surf at our home beach like we do here. Um, but travelling to races like this, you get that kind of practice. Now you live in Hobart, so you fly in and fly out for races. You, you know, all around Australia, that's a big commitment from uh, a couple of ski paddlers. It is, but it's what I really like doing. So um, yeah. some people are into cars or music or, or music festivals. This is what I like doing with my free time. So um, yeah, I'm really enjoying the season. Sam Norton likes paddling skis in his sluggos and he is really, really good at it. But Ben Carberry's just a little bit better at this point. The man from Burley Heads at Mowbray Park He's 33 points in front of the overall ski series after two rounds with a win and a second place. Trim and Bevilacqua.